Hey, I'm Dante. What's good? Hello, how are you? I'm good, so I hope you are good. Today's video, you know, if you're new, make sure you click that button down there, subscribe, and comment at the end of this video, and you tell me how you like this video, you know? To start this off, we are going to start with question number one. Question number one is... Have you changed your outlook on life over the years slash goals? And I would have to say, no, I have not changed my outlook over life. I try to stay as positive as I can be, and I have not changed any of my goals. I think over the years, I've probably added more goals than canceling out goals. Just why would you cancel out your goals? That just makes no sense to cancel out your goals. You, it makes no sense at all. Question number two is not even a question, but it says, "Hey, bitch! Ha! Hey, bitch! How are you? Okay. <laughs> um, question number three: Who's your favorite cousin on your mom's side and on your dad's side? I will have to say my favorite cousin on my mom's side would be my cousin Mimi, and that is because. Growing up, we didn't even like each other. We didn't really like each other. We, we probably liked each other sometimes, but we didn't really like each other. We were always getting fights, and I would win. No, sometimes she would win, but most of the time I would win because, you know, I just don't lose. I, I that's, that's not in my vocabulary. It's to lose, so I didn't lose. Um, My cousin Mimi will have to be my favorite cousin. That is my ride or die. I love her so much. I can't wait for her to come back up here to visit me, or I can't wait to go visit her. Mm, let me get to the second part of this question, and that is, who is your favorite cousin on your dad's side? My favorite cousin on my dad's side would have to be my cousin Ty. And the reason is because every day and every morning, she will send me a message, and it's, hey, Faith, good morning, how are you? I hope you have an amazing day, or it's, hey, Faith, with a whole bunch of hearts. Have a great day at work. Love you. And I'll reply back. And that will be, that's why she's probably one of my favorite cousins. Because she takes the time out her day to just, you know, message me and see how I'm doing. And that's just awesome. Like, why would you not make that your favorite cousin? So that's why she's my favorite cousin. Question number four. Where do you see yourself in five years? Honestly, I don't know. A lot can change in five. A lot. Five years is is a lot. It's a long time. A lot can change in five years. A lot can change in freaking like two weeks. A lot can change in fucking one month. Like, so honestly, I really do not know. Hopefully, I'm in a good spot in five years. You know, just living my best life. Always and forever will be. And yes. Question number five. Who is your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush will have to be Zendaya Coleman, and that is because she is beautiful, she is nice, she just has a funny spirit, she just has a funny outlook on life, she's just wonderful. She's a wonderful actress, she's a wonderful singer, she is just beautiful, and that is my woman crush, Wednesday. that is my celebrity crush, that is my life goal crush that is my future wife as you know so fix my nose right now that is my future wife she's just so beautiful and we're gonna move on from this to go to question number six and that is who is your crush you don't need to know all that i just gave you you know my my celebrity crush you know a lot of y'all might try to steal my crush you know try to be in sliding up into zendaya's you know dms and try to be like hey how are you you know and i ain't no why should i tell you my crush or you can slide in their dms not happening at all not happening so question number seven in this question i've been asked majority of my life for so long and you know I just lived with it I don't really care anymore you know it's 20 fucking 18 like who gives a fuck and that is are you gay and my answer for that is no I'm not gay question number eight 
what is your dream car? My dream car will have to be a Mercedes G-Wagon and that's only because that's a car not a lot of people have and my regular dream car is a Jeep Wrangler. That's a basic car because a lot of people have a Jeep Wrangler and they can soup it up and stuff like that, but not a lot of people have a G-Wagon. So I like to have what a lot of people don't have and that is a G-Wagon, so that is my dream car. Question number nine, what is the craziest thing slash stupidest thing you've ever done? That will have to be in my last video and that is legit one of the craziest things I've ever done in my life. You know, I don't do a lot of crazy things because I'm not like a crazy person. I make stuff crazy and fun, but I'm not a crazy, you know, outgoing, let's go do something really reckless and, you know, let's go fuck it up. No, that is not me. Okay, a little bit, but not really me. Um, cra damn, I was about to say crazy number nine. Question number nine. How much do you love Diamond? On a scale of one to 10, I probably love her 15.5. I really miss her. She is, she's she's really funny. She's my homie bitch, you know. I can't wait to see her again. I hope she comes to visit me at the gym. You know, I really miss her. Question 11. Who was your favorite person two years ago when you were on C4? That would have to be Sammy Perez. And the reason why it would have to be Sammy Perez is because she is so funny. She is just hilarious. She, there's never a dull moment with her. She's just a really outgoing spirit. She's always smiling. She's always happy. And if she's not smiling and not happy, there's something fucked up. There's something wrong because that girl always has a smile on her face and it brings me joy because she's so happy. So I would have to say, that was my favorite person on C4, and that's Amy Perez. Love you. Question number 12. What was your favorite part about sharing? My favorite part about sharing was performing. Um, I didn't like nothing else, you know. The stunts, no. Practice, no. Um, everything else, no. Exercise, I don't do exercise, so that's basically all of cheer. I have asthma, not even. I have, you know, selective asthma. So, it kicks in when it wanna kick in, and my favorite part, it's performing. Question 13, and this is, why did you start a YouTube? I started a YouTube channel because a lot of people told me, Dante, you should start a YouTube channel. You're so funny, you know, you're hilarious. You're, you make me, you just make me laugh, this and this and this, and most of those times are when I'm being so serious. And I don't, I don't hate it, but it just, it just bothers me. Like, I'm being so serious with you and you're just like, <laughs> you're funny, you're really funny. I'm like, yo, I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm being 100% with you. Like, I'm being real with you and you're laughing at me, but it's okay. So it will have to be to share my funniness with you guys and, you know, just be funny, you know, or be real and make you guys laugh. Question 14, how was your high school experience? I didn't like high school at all. I really didn't. Sometimes I didn't like the people. I didn't like really going. I'm not an early bird. Now I'm an early bird after high school, but during high school, no, I'm not an early bird. Um, but my high school experience was probably great. I wish I'd done more. I wish I did did more. I wish I did a lot of things. Just oh my gosh, I cannot talk. I wish I've done a lot of things differently. There we go. I wish I've done a lot of things differently in high school. Um, my high school experience. I'll probably make another chant, another story about that. I don't really know. You let me know. But it was alright. It was okay. You know, nothing extravagant. My school is whack as fuck, so I couldn't make it the hype I didn't have school spirit anyway to have a wonderful high school experience so yeah that's the question for number 14 and number 15 which is the last question and I'm going to end it on 15 because next month on the 15th of December is my 21st birthday so that's my 15 15 if you had the option to fast forward 
your life and skip the struggles? Would you and why? If not, why? I would honestly have to say no, because if I fast forward all the struggles and all the hard times, that's stuff I didn't learn. I don't learn how to overcome. I didn't learn how to defeat. I didn't learn how to do differently or work around. So no, I will not skip or fast forward the struggles in my life because you know what? I can learn from those to make me a better me or to make something better than what it already is or to just learn from your mistakes. Struggle is a struggle, you know, that's just life. You have to struggle to get what you want or to learn what you want. And yeah, that's that's my questions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to, you know, like it down below. Also, if you want to watch weekly videos with me, of me, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me on any other social media platform, my Instagram is at DCC16 underscore. My Snapchat is Dante Cole 2. My Twitter is also Dante Cole 2, but I really use it. So you don't have to follow me on that, but you can if you want. And yes, enjoy your day because I know I am. So yeah. Bye.